Now it's time to store the user's data inside the Firebase. And to do that, we will need a model class that will represent the shape of the data. You can think, of, you can think of it like an SQL table. SQL table have a couple of columns and fields, and the class have a couple of attributes that represent the data. To keep things organized, first let's create a package. Right click on the package name and choose package and we will name this package model and inside this model let's create a new Kotlin class that will represent the data make sure class is selected and type in user and in Kotlin we have a very specific type of classes that can be used to represent the data is called data class and a data class makes it easy to create a class that its specific purpose is to be a model of the data and this class needs a constructor and inside this constructor we can type in the attributes we have so we have val name of type string and this will be name of the user and again we have the email of type string and of course we don't want to store the password because Firebase take care of the password and hashing and this kind of this kind of things. And last, we need the ID and also it is of the type string. So now we have the name, email, and ID. We will create an object of this user and then we can store it inside the Firebase database. And in the register activity, let's go ahead and first here we check for the email field if it is empty or the password field if it is empty. But we also now we want to check for if the name field is dot text dot is empty. So we added a check for the name field itself if one of them is empty we will show the user this toast otherwise we will collect the data and put them inside the variable and it will be called name and we will grab the text and convert it to a string so we need to modify this uh, function a little bit so it will have a third argument that is the name of the user the registered user and we call it name string okay so let's pass the name right now so where we want to store the user after the task is successful so here instead of the toast we can create another method right here private fun and we will call it store user data and this method will take care of three things and it will take care of an email take an email and of course we don't want a password so i will make it a name and last the id of the user so when the task is successful instead of showing a toast we will call the method store user data that will take the email okay and the name and the ID and how we get the ID we can get the ID from the Firebase auth class and the Firebase authentication class after after user is registered or login we can access the email and the ID of the current user so we can easily get it so val ID let's rename it to be the user ID and it will equal to Firebase authentication get in instance and we have the current user and in the current user we need the user ID so now we have the user ID and of course we have an error right here because the current user can be null 
So we can easily use the question mark to check for nullability and now we have the user ID. So instead of this question mark because it will make the variable nullable as you can see and we we will need another check we can use the double question the double explanation mark like this so this will force the nullability and it will explicitly tell the compiler that we are sure that this variable or this field is not null so now we have the user id right here we can send it to the function and inside this function let's create a, a user class as you can see from here and we need a name email and an id so let's scroll down up here in the register so it's called it's called the new user and it will equal to user and it have three things the name the email and last the id so now we have the new user class or object now we can store it into firebase and that is very easy we can use the firebase database class and then call the method get in instance get reference and we can type the reference right here and we want a reference to be called user and then call push so it will give it a new it will give us a unique id a child and finally to store the data just call set value and we will pass in the user object so using the set value we will pass in the object that we want to store so we would have user and then a random id and then the data of the user also to make sure this operation is completed because it can be failed maybe the user doesn't have an internet connection so we can attach an incomplete listener that have the task parameter as a lambda parameter and we can check to see if the task is successful so if the task is successful let's for now just uh, show a toast that the registration is succeeded else we can show the same toast above that the register is failed so now this should uh, take care of the storing the user's data we can run the application and see the result so let's go ahead to the register activity and now we have the name so let me just create a name right here and for the email, let me just uh, use an, a valid email and let's have a password of choice. And if it's successful, we should have a data stored in our database or we should have an error of something of a kind. So let's hit register and see if it's successful or not. So it said register successful. And now, as you can see, we have user and we have a random id and then we have the id itself of the user let me just delete this message so we don't need it anymore so now storing the data works just fine using firebase database